is a recording of our playbook. Download it from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Day 2, CUCM, CUC, IMP, and UCCX Cluster Installations, CUCM Subscriber Installation. This drawing describes how to install Cisco CUCM 9.1.2 subscribers. This is the version that was packaged with our BE6000. Let's start with a quick overview and review. Here are the tasks for our Cisco collaboration, cluster installation and integration. On installation day, a literal day, we install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX clusters. Deploy all of the VMs from OVAs and attach the installation media. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX publishers. Install our CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX subscribers. Activate the services we need in the CUCM cluster when we install the IMNP and UCCX subscribers. Integrate IMNP and UCCX with CUCM when we install the IMNP and UCCX subscribers. Configure DRS for all four applications. Integrate CUCM and CUC with ELM. And do some final tasks, like upgrade VMware tools and configure virtual machine startup and shutdown. The CUCM publisher installation should have completed. The CUCM VMs are deployed from OVAs and the installation media is attached to the VMs. We can proceed to add the subscribers to the publisher and install the CUCM subscribers. We started these installs at 10.45. Launching all three installations should take about an hour. Launch the CUCM subscriber installations before lunch so you don't have to wait on them for the UCCX integration and subscriber installation. We'll do these installs at the same time. The CUCM pub installation must be complete for the subscriber installations to be launched. If you are fast, then you may have to wait a little while. You won't be able to access the GUI until the CUCM pub services have started. We wait about 10 minutes. This is the Enterprise 20 deployment for CUCM, CUC, IMNP, and UCCX. ELMA is co-resident with CUCM pub. The publishers are installing. CUCM pub should be done or nearly done. We will move on to the CUCM subscriber installation. Compare the Enterprise 20 deployment to that included in the August 2013 Cisco validated design. Enterprise 20 is using the CVD model for 2,500 users, except we've added a backup TFTP server on the publisher server. What does the SRND have to say about TFTP servers? Older SRNDs specified that a dedicated TFTP server is required if you have more than 1,250 users. The 9.0 SRND says you should have redundant servers for a large cluster. What does the CVD have to say about TFTP servers? The CVD says to use a single dedicated TFTP server for up to 2,500 users. We've done this, but put a backup on the publisher. First, we add the subscribers to the publisher. Launch whatever browser you use. We use Internet Explorer. Web browse to this address. Ignore the security warning and click continue to this website. Log in using Collab Admin, the application username you configured during installation, and your password, which you also configured during installation. When we logged in, we found none of the drop down menus worked. We enabled Compatibility View for CUCM Pub. We added both the name and the IP address. Navigate to System, Server. Click Add New. Add the server names and provide descriptions. You should see all of your servers listed before moving on. 
Now we install the subscribers. The subscribers have been deployed to the appropriate ESXi hosts, and the ISOs are attached. We've added the subscribers to CUCM Pub. Now the subscribers can be installed. Here are the names and addresses for the Enterprise 20 CUCM cluster. We've assigned names and addresses for additional servers we don't need right now, but may experiment within the lab. The DNS is 172.20.100.101 and the domain name is enterprise20.ca. You can install all of the subscribers at the same time. You do not need to wait for an install to complete before moving on to the next. We'll illustrate subscriber installation using TFTPB. Select TFTPB from the inventory and open a console. Start the VM using the green arrow icon in the toolbar. TFTPB should start. Select Yes to perform a media check. When you click inside the console, your cursor will be stuck there. Press Ctrl-Alt to free your cursor from the console. The media check will run. After a short while, the integrity of the media should be verified. The media check on Enterprise 20 ESXi-A took less than 45 seconds. Select Cisco Unified Communications Manager and press OK. This is a new install. Press Yes. Press Proceed to perform the full installation immediately without a floppy with the platform configuration. We're not applying a patch, so select No. Select Continue to proceed with the installation without a floppy or patching. Select the best place to live for your time zone and press OK. Auto negotiation doesn't make a lot of sense for a VM. Select Continue. Leave the MTU size alone. Press No. Press No so that you can configure a static server IP address. Provide the static network configuration and press OK. For Enterprise 20, TFTPB has IP address 172.20.204.62 with a mask of 255.255.255.0 and a default gateway of 172.20.204.5. Press Yes to enable DNS. Enter the primary and secondary DNS servers and domain name. For Enterprise 20, we have only one DNS server at 172.20.100.101 with the domain enterprise20.ca. Provide the platform administrator ID and password and press OK. The platform administrator has access to the console and the OS administration and disaster recovery web pages. Provide the certificate information and press OK. Unless you have a security team to provide these values, just enter something reasonable. Press No to install a subscriber. We added this server to the first node, also known as the publisher, so press OK. Press No to do the whole installation right now. Provide the name, address, and security password for the publisher and press OK. We're not doing SMTP, so press No. The installation is good to go. Press OK. The installation should take about an hour. When it completes successfully, you can log in using the platform administrator username and password. It's important to log in to verify that you didn't make a typo entering the platform administrator username. The CUCM subscriber installations are running in parallel. The UCCX pub installation is ongoing. 
the CUCM subscriber installations have been launched. All three installations are in progress. It's 11.45 now. Next, we will install the CUC subscriber. Coming up next, CUCM, CUC, IM&P, and UCCX cluster installations, CUC subscriber installation. Thanks for watching.